and welcome to another midweek devotional here at Faith Assembly of God in Lisbon, North Dakota. We're so glad you could join us uh, for this midweek devotional, for this weekly inspirational video, whatever you like to call it. We're just going to dive right into the content this week, if that's all right. So go ahead, pause the video, go grab your Bible, or if you have your Bible, go ahead and turn to the longest chapter in your entire book. It is Psalm 119. It should be just turn your Bible right to the middle of your, your pages and you're almost always really close to it. So if you will, uh, we're just going to go ahead and read right now, beginning in verses 1, and it's just going to be verses 1 and 2, okay? Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the way of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart. You know, following directions can be incredibly hard. It can be very difficult. In fact, if I told you specifically to not think about what a leprechaun uh, riding a giraffe into a Walmart would look like, I guarantee you would immediately be thinking about a little man dressed in green riding a giraffe into a Walmart, right? It's in our nature as human beings to go against the instructions we receive. We've been doing it since the very beginning in the garden when the first humans were walking on earth for the first time, right? That's why so many people have a hard time staying committed to Christ because it sometimes it seems like Jesus has given us so many rules we have to follow, right? And if we don't follow those rules, we know there's consequences. The Bible talks about those consequences, but one thing I've noticed in life is that it is so much easier to take direction from a coworker or a friend than it is to get commands from a boss or a supervisor. The difference, of course, is how we view the relationship and how we have developed that relationship with a person. We're more likely to rebel against rules built only on the insistence of obedience and discipline rather than those built on love and respect. We're far more likely to listen to those who care about us and who genuinely love us more than getting a product out the window or out the door, right? And people who treat us well, or instead of treating us like subordinates or slaves, we're going to respect what they say just a little bit more. That's why we follow the direction of Christ, why we obey him, why we obey God's word, because while it contains laws and while we are uh, the doulos, the slaves to Christ, we are because we know he loves us dearly. And once you love someone and know they love you, you're going to heed their direction, their instruction, their rules, because you understand they only have your best interests at heart. And God clearly has your best interests at heart. He clearly loves us. He wants us to listen to his word. John fourteen fifteen reminds us that if we love him back, we will keep his commandments. This week, the challenge is think of ways you have pushed back against God's direction. Repent and trust him to know what's best for you and follow his directions. And hopefully I'll see you Sunday. But until next week, God bless you guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your week.